okay so these were the three fundamental skills that uh, we have discussed in a previous video right and uh, this is the minimum required skill level that you should acquire here so if i talk about linux then you should know basic system administration uh, which can be of the level of rhcsa or ex200 or linux foundation lfcs linux foundation uh, cloud system administrator right <clears throat> so these are the two certifications or two exams which cover a basic syllabus on system administration similarly on the networking side you should have a basic networking knowledge of ccna level ccna routing and switching you should know uh, what is a subnet what is a vlan what are protocols uh, how routing is done how switching is done at least these amount of basics you should know kubernetes you should acquire at least cka a certified kubernetes administrator exam uh, this includes only basic cluster administration and nothing else okay so if you are already doing basic cluster administration then the certifications the certification is not required right so this is this is the amount of uh, study that that needs to be done bare minimum to acquire these skills so you see i have not asked you to be an expert in any of this domain right so for example in networking you have the highest level of uh, certification as ccie but you are not required to be a ccie if you want to work in cloud if you know only ccna level basic basics it is more than sufficient to work into the cloud area okay now how can you acquire these skills so there are many learning resources available the first one is youtube which is free so there are many uh, people who are teaching on youtube you have very good channels on youtube and youtube is a completely free community uh, which we all know right but as they say that lunches are not free so anything that comes free might not add that value that uh, you are seeking for so in that case you may move on to some other platforms so there are learning platforms and individual instructors uh, which which are paid okay you can find these instructors on uh, social media platforms like linkedin or uh, or similar platforms right and uh, after that we have authorized training centers by organizations for example vmware oracle aws google cisco red hat okay so every big city has uh, authorized learning centers of uh, these uh, these organizations and they have their online presence also but uh, these they, they turn out to be very high cost right so it depends on you what kind of uh, what what level of knowledge you want to acquire you can opt as per your convenience about the platforms so these were the platforms that we discussed on uh, private and public side right so what you should know about the platforms so you should be able to create or delete um, and manage the cloud services like vms network security storage uh, identity and access etc okay so on on every platform that you want to learn you should be able to do at least these operations which are mentioned here right so this is cloud called as cloud management uh, or um, simple cloud administration okay so openstack has a way of doing these things uh, vmware has a way of doing these things so every platform has a different ui has a different dashboard uh, by which you can achieve these tasks right and these are the uh, the basic certifications that are required to complete uh, these these things right so for example for openstack you have red hat cl210 exam for aws you have aws solution architect associate exam right so these are the certifications that are mentioned as the bare minimum required knowledge for those uh, achieving those uh, those things okay i would like to emphasize that certifications are good to have but not mandatory i i would repeat i will repeat again certifications are good to have but not mandatory if you already are working on to these platforms if you have practical skills already then certification is not required at all so a lot of skills have already been discussed till now so now let's see the bundle so if you want to uh, develop yourself as a telco cloud engineer or in the telco cloud area finally what bundle you should have 
so you should have fundamental skills plus platform knowledge as i said so fundamental skills are three linux plus networking plus kubernetes and then you should have at least one cloud management system or cloud platform which is open stack on a solid line that i have shown here and vmware on a dotted line <clears throat> why because open stack is a de facto cloud management system for telcos especially for vnf based applications because it has been used to manage the virtual machines and kubernetes is being used for cnf based applications only so in any way you need to know either kubernetes or a combination of kubernetes plus open stack both as a telco cloud engineer vmware however has a very less footprint as compared to open stack due to the cost involved in licensing and support so this is the bundle that you should know or you should learn if you want to be an established telco cloud engineer or a telco cloud professional for any other industry it or any other software industry or, or a generic cloud computing role you should know the the same basic skills linux plus networking plus kubernetes and any one platform out of these okay so out of aws azure or google cloud any one platform so uh, this is the decreasing order of market share that has been shown here so on top we have aws uh, which is having most of the jobs in the market then you have azure and then you have google cloud now it depends on you which path you want to choose so develop yourself according to that platform now the question comes which telco job roles have matching expertise with cloud skills i mean the existing telco job roles have matching expertise with which cloud skills let us see <clears throat> 